Is it hard to get dressed every day? Is your closet so full, but you still feel like you have nothing to wear? No matter what you buy, no matter what you get rid of. In this video, I'm sharing 14 reasons why you might hate your wardrobe and what you can do instead to curate a wardrobe that you love. That used to be me. No matter how many clothes were in my closet, I always felt like I had nothing to wear. And I realized over the years why, and that's what I'm sharing today. And it's taken me a while to curate my closet, but I now love my clothes. I feel like I always have something to wear. And I hope this video helps you build a wardrobe that you love. The first reason you might feel like you have nothing to wear is because you're only shopping trends. So your wardrobe is full of trend items. Whenever a new season comes, you like to shop the pieces that are the hottest color, the hottest style, but the problem is they don't last. They're not timeless. They're not pieces that you can wear most likely next year or other seasons. And a lot of times you might be buying these trend items and they're not quality either. So when you're focusing on adding the latest trends to your closet, you might not be building a closet that you love because those trends come in and out and they're not always easy to style, especially if you don't have more basics in your closet. The second reason you have nothing to wear is because you haven't figured out your personal style yet. What's your clothing style? I made a video all about this and I will link it up above and also down in the description box. But knowing what your personal style is will help you know what pieces to edit out of your closet because it actually doesn't feel like you and also what pieces to bring into your closet. Once you have a clear idea of what your clothing style is, it will help you make better decisions and it will help you focus on building outfits and curating a closet of pieces that fit your style so that you'll actually wear them and they'll be pieces that you love. The next reason is you might be focusing on quantity over quality. So this is where you rather have more items in your closet. You feel like the more items you have, the easier it will be to get dressed. Although sometimes those items aren't quality, so they don't last, they don't hold up as well. They don't look as good after you wear them a few times. So focusing on quantity doesn't always help you get dressed easier. I know we think having more should help us get dressed easier. And I definitely fell into this trap years ago when I would shop. I thought I was just missing things. I thought I just didn't have enough clothes. So I would go and shop and use whatever wardrobe budget I have to buy more pieces as opposed to buying pieces that were higher quality and that would last and be timeless and that I'd actually love for a long time. So having this focus where you're thinking about how many pieces you can have in your closet, your closet may be stuffed with items, but you still feel like you have nothing to wear. Check if you're focusing more on quantity over quality and you might wanna rethink that. The next reason your closet may be full of clothes, but you still get up every morning and are frustrated when you're trying to put together an outfit might be because you buy what you see and like on someone else instead of actually thinking about what it might look like on you. So I talk about this a lot in some of my other videos and I talk about this with my clients. When you see someone else wearing something that you really like, whether it's someone you saw on Instagram or on TikTok or another YouTube video, or if it's someone that you saw down the street, before you buy that item for yourself, think about, does that person have the same coloring as you? Does that person have a similar personal style to you or a style that you would like to have? Does that person have similar hair coloring? Does that person have a similar body shape? Because if they don't, the chances are that piece that you love so much on them may not look the same on you. So when you're looking for, to be inspired by outfits and by pieces and you want to curate a closet that you love, look for inspiration from other people that have a similar body shape to you, similar personal style to you, similar coloring, similar height to you. Those things will really help you make better decisions when you're bringing something into your closet. Please don't buy things final sale. No matter how good the deal seems, Final sale, I've done this in the past, I, I don't do it anymore, but when you're buying something that's final sale, chances are there's, there's a 50-50 chance that you're gonna not wear that item. I have walked into so many closets over the years and there are items with tags hanging on them 
that have never been worn, that have been sitting there for years. And when I ask my client, what is this item? Why is this here? They tell me they bought it final sale and they can't return it. They can't do anything with that item, but they don't love it. So do not buy things that are final sale. I think you will just be throwing your money away. The next reason you might have a closet full of clothes you don't love is because you're using shopping as a way to deal with stress or boredom or loneliness or some other emotion that you have going on. This is so common, especially in our culture, especially as women, when we're feeling down or we've had a hard day and we just want to alleviate some of that pressure, some of that emotion, a lot of us will go to shopping, whether it's in-store shopping or online shopping. But if you think about if you've ever bought something when you've been in that headspace, chances are that hasn't become an item that you've later loved because you were buying it more because to fill this feeling you were dealing with instead of actually being in a headspace that your head was clear, you were in a good shopping space and you were shopping because it was something you enjoyed doing and you just wanted to have fun. So when you're shopping, before you're shopping, think about the headspace that you're in. Is this a good time to shop? Or are you using shopping as a way to deal with some other emotions? So I like to say, if you're feeling some other like stress or you know depression or loneliness or boredom, whatever other emotions are going on, use that time to do some other form of self-care. So take a bath, pour yourself a glass of wine, read a book, call a friend, take a walk. These are much more effective ways to get your head in the right space so that you don't later regret purchase mistakes that you might've made. You don't have a shopping list. So when you shop, you just kind of look at what you're drawn to. So there's not really a plan. There's no intention behind when you shop. So a lot of women do this. It is so difficult for women to think about and curate a closet when they don't have a shopping list. So one of the things I do when I'm working with my clients, I'm going through their closet as I'm editing their closet and I'm seeing what pieces they're missing. What are the gaps in your closet? So a great way for you to do this is when you're getting dressed or when you're trying to get dressed, you have somewhere to go and you realize you're missing you know, a shoe that matches with an outfit, you're missing a neutral bag, you're missing a clothing essential, whatever that item is, as soon as you become aware of it, pull out your phone or pull out a notebook and write that on your shopping list. This is an item that you're missing, that your wardrobe doesn't have. And these are the pieces that you should prioritize when you're shopping if you wanna have a closet full of clothes that you're gonna wear and that you're gonna easily create outfits. So don't just shop when you're when you don't have any kind of plan. Unless you have already curated a closet that you love, you have all the pieces that you need, you don't have any problems getting dressed, then I say have fun when you shop and you don't need a shopping list. But if you're like most people, shop with a shopping list, it will help you fill in the gaps that you're missing and the pieces that are preventing you from getting dressed easily. I used to never buy basics. I didn't wanna spend my limited wardrobe budget on, you know, basics. I just felt like that wasn't what was going to help me get dressed. I thought I needed things to be interesting or statement pieces. I thought I would get so much more use out of those. And it took me years to realize that I needed basic clothing essentials. And once I did add those to my closet, it became so much easier to get dressed because it's hard to style a statement top with a statement shoe with a statement bottom. It just, it makes it so much easier. When you have these clothing essentials, these clothing basics, they will help you get dressed. So I made a video all about this. It's so important and I've written articles about it on my site. I will link the video up above and my site also, if you wanna read that article and you wanna see the pieces that I recommend that women need. And I'll also link it down in the description box for you. But having your clothing essentials, your clothing staples will help you get dressed so much more than just having a closet full of statement items. And along that last reason, the next reason I have found it's hard for women to get dressed, they don't have a foundation in their closet. They're missing a capsule wardrobe. And I've talked about this so many times, and I know there's those of you that don't want a capsule wardrobe. If you don't have a problem getting dressed, if it's easy for you to get dressed and you don't have a capsule wardrobe, then I think that's great. Then you probably don't need a capsule wardrobe. You have figured out what works for you and what works for your style. But if you're finding that it's hard to get dressed, you don't have the pieces you need in your closet, I think having a foundational capsule wardrobe in your closet will help you easily get dressed for wherever you're going and whatever you're doing. 
I believe in a capsule wardrobe so much that I have made so many videos all about a capsule wardrobe and I will link that playlist up above and down in the description box if you guys want to take a look at that. But having a foundation in your closet, that base that will help you get dressed so easily. The next reason is you don't shop for your current lifestyle. So you're still thinking about what your life might have been like in your 20s or before you had kids or before you had to go to an office for work. Think about what your life is now. Be honest with yourself. Do you have small kids? If you do, the chances are you're not going to get so much use out of silk dresses or heels. If you go to work, you know, and you work five days a week and your office is conservative work attire, you're not going to get as much use as some of these other more fun and statement pieces, at least not during the week. So be honest with what your current lifestyle is. Does it make sense for you to have a closet full of dresses or a closet full of tank tops? Maybe you live in cold climate and you love summer. So your closet is filled with summer items, but you live in a cold climate. So it's really hard to wear those items or you only get to wear those items for one or two months out of the year. So take a look at your wardrobe and see if it fits your current lifestyle. And if it doesn't figure out what pieces, what style would fit your current lifestyle. The next reason is you don't declutter. It's hard for you to let go of things. It's hard for you to make time to edit your closet. And really, again, this goes back to having that intention to go through and look at the pieces that are in your closet. Do these pieces work for you today? Do you wear all these pieces? There's a statistic that says women only wear 20% of their clothes. So that's 80% of your wardrobe is just sitting in your closet. And I can tell you that I have seen this for years now from so many women that I go into their closets and we go to edit and there are, we end up with huge black bags, multiple bags, of clothes that they don't wear, that they don't love, that are just sitting in their closet to take up space. So if you need help decluttering your closet, knowing how to edit, needing that support, I have made a video showing you exactly how to know when to let something go. And again, I will link that up above and down in the description box for you. But decluttering at least once a year or a couple times a year will help you curate your closet, make you have more intention with your clothes, what you're bringing into your closet, than just letting everything sit there. Is your closet disorganized? Do you know where items are or are you having a hard time finding things? Are you looking through the hamper for dirty items because you just can't find what you're looking for to wear? Well, this again goes back to having that intention. Make the time, make the effort to get your closet organized. An organized closet is more efficient. It will make you have an easier time getting dressed. It will make you know what you have so that you know what is missing and that you can write those missing gaps on your shopping list. But an organized closet is such a big reason that women especially have a hard time getting dressed and they may just have a closet full of clothes, but nothing to wear. The next reason is you're not accepting or embracing your current body. So this again is so common, especially women after having children or you know, you're know you going into premenopause, or as we get older, our bodies change, sometimes no matter what we do, and it's really hard to accept our new body and to dress for our new body. If you're not embracing your current body and how things look on your body today, you might be avoiding building a closet that you love. So try to find a way to accept your body today, to love your body today, and to find the clothes that fit your body. I mentioned this before and I was guilty of this years ago, but the next reason is you're only buying statement pieces. Your closet is full of pieces that have prints or details like ruffles or ruching or other things that make it hard to actually style a look. So when you're just having, when you have a closet full of color, full of prints, full of, you know, style details, it makes it hard to get dressed. So look at your clothes and see what's hanging in your closet. Do you have a bunch of pieces that are statement pieces that it's hard to style with other things? Because if you do, this might be one of the reasons that you're having a hard time getting dressed. If you learned something from this video, then you're probably gonna wanna watch this next video here, which are the questions I ask all my personal styling clients to see if their wardrobe is working for them. 
So thanks for watching. And for new videos every Thursday, go ahead and click that subscribe button and I will see you next week.